Yeah, hello, how you all doing? This is Vernon Mellon. Welcome to another episode of Castle Crush. In this episode, I'm gonna introduce you another deck that I think is very interesting. And I have just invented it and played a few games with it. I think it's pretty gorgeous. But before anything, let me show you a replay that I think was pretty decent here. Yeah, no, this is not the one. This one against uh, Figaro right at, right off the start he gets a very good uh, starting draw here double crystal and uh, let's start with the angel you guys will see this is such an amazing comeback oh, he probably will have to give up a card oh actually he doesn't yeah well, that was fine until he took out my storm elemental. So now, so now I have to start everything over again. Chose to go with shaman because I think it's the safest option. And now all of a sudden everything changed because of that uh, Valkyrie there. Okay. Choosing to protect my Hollow Knight, but he has the arrow, so I will have to switch to protect, but then he has the Inferno. So at this point he has like uh, 40, about 40 mana worth of troop, while I only have like 10 mana worth of troop like I just had the uh, center bear and the ice mental on the field for a second there so that was a huge huge disadvantage we're facing but now because I still have the field so which means I have the room to slowly chip away his middle lane bit by bit you will see and their double necromancer is proving to be too strong for him to deal with at the same time. And they're going against those two black knight which can't really do anything against me now. We'll probably chose to go yeah, gonna switch. And shock. Okay. So now he has nothing. Practically gave up now. So there is that. Uh, that's, uh, to see whoa I'm hearing I'm hearing the mage let's see what a level 5 ballista can do Although I didn't get my fan dancer for his angel. The spike statue plus those two little wrench troop was big enough for that little storm to deal with. Was that warrior or a oh, dwarf probably? Let's see where the dwarf is. Hi at the bottom it seems like well then I'll probably just not do anything bottom
push. This is, we're basically just uh, trading castle health. This is going to be a good chance to show you the adjustment I've made. I put in two ballistas just to add a little sauce to our plate. I think the ballista, although I'm just using level 5 ballistas, but I think they can really spike things up a little bit. You will see what I mean. Storm. Oh, it is at the middle. Okay, nice. Just in time. That's for another demon. The shaman is in the middle. Gonna push. That's for the demon, but the demon would still get the egg, I suspect. Not sure. Hi. Hi. Ooh, okay. Fight for honor. Was that Valkyrie? Yeah. Wow, Valkyrie. Wow, okay. Valkyrie plus the Necromancer. I need to end this fast. Let's see. Okay, nice. GG. He could probably win if he used that meteor at my top uh, archer queen, but he was probably in a rush to kill my phoenix, I guess. But the moment I see that Valkyrie plus Necro, I really have no intention to go against them in the bottom. Wow, I have a good attack combination going on in the middle and top. Angel. Let's see where the angel is. It's at the bottom. A trick you can use is like when my ballista, although I know that the ballista was not in range to get the castle, but you can see that the arrow. Okay. Whoa, another save. Okay. You can see that the arrow. Okay, actually you can. I thought you can see the arrow when it uh, hits the castle, but I guess you couldn't. Never mind. <laughs> he doesn't have another standard bearer, so I can rest assured and just uh, do as much damage as I can. Gonna push a little bit earlier in case he has a cannon or something. Okay, that's his wind. Push again. I will get his Hollow Knight. And another Archer Queen at the bottom will end him. Yeah, so this deck, although... Uh, <laughs> although it's basically all troop, besides those two wind, I think it's still pretty fun to play with I hear archers Jester and I put that bottom ballista I'm facing lots of necromancer it seems like. 
Not sure if he has. I better go start another lane. Because I'm not sure how many wind does he have or if he has the uh, standard bearer. So I need to find another lane to attack. Get an archer queen. I'm counting on you. Okay, good. I should have yeah I should have another wind coming so if he doesn't have like double wind or standard bear it's gonna be very hard for him to come back how many wind was that probably four straight winds You should probably always start with the archers instead of the dwarf because archers walk slightly faster than the dwarf but I just uh, usually go with how I feel like Okay Hi. Get the angel! Get the angel! Probably not do anything there. Hi. It's at the top, the real shaman. Can I get him? Whoops. Okay. That should get him. And then there is that fan dancer top as well. Something else is there. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. I have to win top. I just have to win top. Let's get another thing going down bottom. Yeah, because he's losing top and he knows it. Here's my chance. Now I have like the double archer queen set up and that's... Oh right, I forgot those two big golem. <laughs> but the double archer queen set up is just uh, way too strong for him to deal with right now. And <laughs> How can I forget about the two giant golem in the middle? I put my ballista straight to them. Hi. Dwarf in the middle. Let's save those two poor archers. Ooh, isn't that... Okay, let's put that on top. It's probably in the middle, but yeah. Switch, right? Okay. Whoops, he probably has a higher level and now is backed by another golem, okay. Or orc. But he has the higher level polista. Cannon. Okay. This just got ten times trickier. The mud elemental is in the middle. Okay. Hi. Hi. Another mud elemental where? Probably in the bottom. Okay, I need to attack now. There are my winds. Okay. 
GG. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 16, 65 HP left. See if we can salvage this. Nope. Because I have two ballista in two different lanes. Yeah, um, I guess probably if you're playing the ranged deck, the wind doesn't do as much damage to you as they normally do to like the melee decks. Storm. Cannon girl. Okay, this is tough. Whoops. Okay. Well, the good news is his storm is only level 1. The bad news is it's a storm. Let's buy ourselves sometime. Push again. I need my archer queen ASAP. That was a very cheap win, I guess, because if he have if he had any other more spell cards, I could probably lose. But I don't know, man. A win is a win, right? How many consecutive win was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He had a door going on as well. Okay, but at least that time. Oh, it's, at the, it's in the bottom. Reaper. One, two, three. Okay, I got the Reaper at. I didn't. Let's get the standard bearer first. Force him to switch. Force him to switch, and I will spike. He's still attacking top or bottom, I guess. Okay, not too bad. Let's try the last game. Notice that I don't have a wind. Hi. I need my archer coin. <laughs> the 
metamorph is probably at the top still. GG. Because the middle, uh, I have two AOE damage card in the middle, the Fan Dancer and the Phoenix. It's going to be very easy to do damage to his castle. And I, that's happening while I'm having a uh, Archer Queen on the field. So that's 10 straight win with this deck. I recommend this deck to you, hoping that you can get some fun with it, playing it. Uh, <laughs> If you're new to the channel, consider subscribe. If you're feeling being awesome, just remember to hit that like button, comment, and let me know what you want to see next. This is Vernon's Melon, peacing out. Stay tuned, and you will see me soon. Bye!